I got a message. As a guy who spent 34 years deporting illegal aliens, I got a message to the millions of illegal aliens that Joe Biden's releasing our country in violation of federal law. You better start packing now. You're damn right. Because you're going home. I got another message. Another message to the criminal cartels in Mexico. You smuggle enough fentanyl across this country to kill 148,000 young Americans. You have killed more Americans than every terrorist organization in the world combined. And that's when President Trump gets back in office. He's going to designate you a terrorist organization. He's going to wipe you off the face of the earth. You're done. You're done. All right, all righty. Shalom, shalom, Israel. I want to start by giving all glory and praises to Yahweh, by Shem Yoshah, by Shem Rakhachadash. I'm the brother Amor, for the answer of the Lord, from the Kingdom of the Babylon. Come with another quick hit to the spirit by Shem Yoshah. Lord, wanted to edify and feed the sheep. Double honor said I was an apostle, great muscle, and teach you well. Peace and blessings to the brothers who push this work into sincerity. Just got the bride. All right, and you heard it for yourself. All right. <clears throat> All right, coming to the, all right, these coming terms, all right, where uh, you have it where, all right, these devils, man, about to come down with it, man. All right, you saw, all right, this guy, uh, Trump, who was just elected once again, all right, when he comes into being uh, officially sat in the seat, all right, these are the terms and conditions that are going to come, all right, according to what they're saying. All right, you have this. Uh, you got this guy right here, or right, the head of the, I believe, ICE director, all right, speaking, all right, what you see, man, in the video, saying what, what's going to happen, okay, which shows you that, um, all right, a lot of you, you know, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American, and really speaking about Northern Kingdom of this situation, which is the, what they would, you know, consider the Latinos or immigrants or things like that, they coming down on, on you, man, okay, which leads um, the next victim, okay, or they leads to that next uh, um, target, I should say, will be next you, Jake, man, okay, these devils not messing around, man, okay, once they get rid of uh, these so-called illegal immigrants, okay, out of here, America, they coming for you, Jake's next, man. Okay, what shows you Esau's about to show his horns in these last coming days. All right, so I just want to bring it out. I'll play the video again and grab some scriptures, get this straight to the point. Lord, when you edified. I got a message. As a guy who spent 34 years deporting illegal aliens, I got a message. To the millions of illegal aliens that Joe Biden's releasing our country in violation of federal law, you better start packing now. You're damn right. Because you're going home. I got another message. Another message to the criminal cartels in Mexico. You smuggle enough fentanyl across this country to kill 148,000 young Americans. You have killed more Americans than every terrorist organization in the world combined. And that's when President Trump gets back in office. He's going to designate you a terrorist organization. He's going to wipe you off the face of the earth. You're done. You're done. All right. So, hey, man, you know, these devils are speaking, man. Okay, and they about to show their horns, man. They show about they about they did about to show their weakness, man. And, okay, and that led to uh, me bringing this out. And you even watch the video, okay? You have it where you know you don't really see no uh, Northern Kingdom, okay? No Southern Kingdom, which is you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American are uh, really in the crowd, man. All you see is a bunch of bloodthirsty, can't wait to get their hands on a uh, Israelite neck. All right, uh, uh, devils, man, within the crowd, okay? Because ultimately, these devils have a perpetual hatred 
Okay, and eventually, soon, all right, it's going to come to a time like Jacob's trouble where these devils are going to be able to demonstrate that that hatred, man. Okay, they're going to really take uh, a hold to that anger and they're going to, you know, take it out in these times, uh, times that we're coming into, man. All right. But this is uh, Ecclesiastes, it's known as Sirach chapter 14. And it's like I'm going to walk and talk at the same time. It says, and if he doeth good, he doeth it unwillingly, and at the last he will declare his wickedness. Right. And this is uh, a form where this devil is declaring his wickedness, man. You know, so you got a lot of northern kingdom that that snuck over here and got some way of you know getting over here, and now uh, they was funding them, you know, giving them you know funds, giving them shelter, giving them all sorts of uh, benefits. And then this devil has, you know, turned on them, okay, due to the uh, terms of election. And now they're being deported, man. You see, which shows you that these devils, if they get the opportunity, okay, a chance, they're going to take uh, advantage of it. And they're going to seek uh, to, to they're going to seek blood, man. Okay. And it's not just something where it comes to just them de 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 deporting these um, illegal in, uh, illegal immigrants, and that's just that, man. No, nah, because you're going to have some that's going to fight to try to stay here, which is going to lead to what? Lethal force, man. Okay? And we're about to see Esau, you know, really act a fool. Okay? And you got this guy, Trump, who, who he, he has no, uh, you know, he's already... A loose cannon. So now you have it where he has all these other parties and higher Supreme Courts along the lines with him. Okay. Which all are in agreement with him who are willing to take those necessary precautions to quote unquote make America get, uh, great again, man. All right. Which means this devil is about to do some, some shit, man. Okay. So, hey, he, you have it. He's showing his wickedness, man. He even saying that at the border, even for those who are considered um, enemies, okay, and other, for, for, for those who are attacking ones over here, considered, uh, that's considered a civilian, are going to have to pay for it, okay? And he says, what he said, he said, that you're, you're done, okay? Speaking to those, he said, you're done, you're done, okay? So what do you think that means? What do you think that means, man? That means this devil's about to, you know, reveal those weapons, okay? And anybody that's not with the Make America Great Again slogan <laughs> or, or, or movement, you know, they're going to seek to get you out the way, all right? So reading again, Ecclesiastes chapter 14, verse 7. And if he doeth good, he doeth it unwillingly. You know, so Esau's always got a turning hand. You got to watch out for that double hand, man. You see, and at the end, it says, and at the last, he will declare his wickedness. And he's known for doing that. All right. Which another scripture goes into there. Reminds me where it says, let me see. Psalms chapter 55, verse 21. It says, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. So in his, in his mind, he's uh, looking for a master plan. All right. Either he has one already conjured up or he's uh, in process of one. You see? And that's how he's, Esau works. All right. This is our enemy, man. Okay. Next is going to be so-called Negroes, Latinos, uh, or really next, because they're already going for Northern Kingdom, man. All right, but next is going to be you Negroes, man, or so-called Negroes, okay? You Jake, all right, you black, so-called, okay? That's who's he's next on the list. You had this Edomite said, uh, either way this election goes, right, whoever be elected, he said, you, uh, you blacks aren't going to be safe, man. Meaning they're going to have something. If it ain't for 
uh, these devils that's in the seat now that's gonna might, that, that might take a chance to do something, all right? It's gonna be these Edomites, civilians, man, okay? That's gonna take the chance to do something because now they have a, 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 a now they have a superior authority like Trump in the seat that's willing to let those things be done, you see? So these Edomites, gonna, they're gonna show out too. But it says, um, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn sores. So even though you had, you know, Biden, okay, letting these things um, go down, all right, which seemed like a good uh, thing at the time, all right, you had them coming over and they was being allowed, they was being funded, okay. Now it's starting to flip, okay, which now these swords are being drawn. Okay, now Esau's starting to flip his hand. No matter who's in the seat, this is still Esau Edom. This is his nature, okay, to be the wicked. And the scriptures tell you, going back into Ecclesiastes, reading in um, verse uh, chapter 12, starting at verse 10, it says, Never trust thy enemy, for like a, as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. So, excuse me, just like iron rusteth, man, throughout the season, throughout the time, all right, you start to see the, the, the rust build up, okay? It breaks off into that coating to where now you start to see the rust over. You know, it had a, it had a nice coating, and then it, and it starts over a period of time, it shows that rust, all right? And that's the ending result, okay, that rust. And that's just the same way with Esau, all right? No matter how much he put on the smile, no matter how much he put on a, 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 a good image, okay, eventually he's going to show that rust, and that rust is going to be that wickedness, man, okay? So the scripture says, never trust thy enemy, and Esau eat him. Okay, started with him at the top, which is so-called white man, and then pertaining back down from there, which is these other heathens, these other nations, they're not to be trusted, man. All right, for you new listeners that's listening. <clears throat> it says, for like as iron rustles, so is his wickedness. Though he humble himself and go crouching. So he saw it take the time to wait. Okay, he's known to be a cunning hunter. Okay, and to be a hunter, you have to be patient, ordinary to be able to get your prey to its, uh, you know, point to where you attack. And that's what Esau does. So it says, though he, uh, though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. All right, this is what the scriptures are here to, war or to warn you. And all right, us brothers is doing these lessons, man. To warn you of who your enemy is, man. Do this prayer and pray about Shemel Shai. All right, because soon, all right, this devil is about to start slaying, man. It says, Yet take good heed and beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass. Imagine a mirror that's foggy. You finally get a chance to wipe it. Okay? And thou shalt know that his rust hath not been altogether wiped away. So now you get to see this true image of this devil, man. Okay. At first it was blurry. All right. But the true, the true, the true colors come out, man. All right. When you start to see things clearly. All right. A lot of these people are not seeing things clearly. Speak, you're speaking primarily to you, you Israelites, man. You Jake. All right, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American, man, our people. It says, jumping down to verse 13, I'll even grab this. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent? And it says, uh, yeah, it says, who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come nigh wild beasts? Okay, which a lot of these, all right, uh, a lot of you uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American men 
our, our people trust in this system. All right, they trusted enough to think they were going to come across these borders and come into these lands and be safe. But the scripture says this is not our rest, proceeding to Micah chapter 2, man. All right, this is not our rest. And Jake come across the borders, all the kingdom come across the borders, and they try to find some type of station area in their home, all right, without being touched. Well, and, and in reality, you were in the backyard of your enemies, man. You're on their homelands, okay? And, and eventually, when someone's on your property, they have a, a stand you, uh, how it go? Uh, it's a pertaining to a law, all right? Um, if you know, you could drop it in, in below. But uh, where you can, you know, pretty much uh, take someone out the game. You know, if you have to, you could take someone's life if they're in they, if you're in their yard, if you are in their, um, are on their property, on their land. I said, I think it's something like standing your your ground law, something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, the point is, is that we're in their land, so they can do what they want. They can do as they please. Okay, so the scripture says, hey, who who gonna pity you? Okay, that's gonna go to them for help. All right, and you go to them for help. It says, or any such as come nigh wild beasts. Jump to verse 16. All right, and it says, an enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart he has imagined how to throw thee into a pit, okay? And there's a way worse, there's a way, way more worse way to uh, leave a message to a nation, man, okay? They rather just bluntly saying what you want to do, okay? And this is how he saw, he delivered his message speaking sweetly, as the scripture before said in Psalms chapter 55, <clears throat> verse 21. All right. So in that terms, uh, this devil, he was speaking, man. You know, it wasn't pleasant. But if he could, uh, I'm pretty sure he would have said, uh, you know, he would be ready to, to take him out instead than really having a, a deporting, you know, option. All right. Because what it says, he will weep with his eyes. But if he find opportunity he will not be satisfied with blood. And that's the point leading up to what I'm saying. All right. He won't be satisfied. Not even with blood. Speaking to uh, this being a bloodthirsty devil, man. Okay. He is meat raw. You know, he, he like to get his hands dirty. Okay. He like it all, man. Okay. Bloody. So you think when it comes to others' lives, he's not going to get... Uh, you know, down and dirty, man. No, this is Esau, man. Okay, Esau, even so-called white man that we're speaking about. Okay, so this devil was willing to uh, do what it takes. And he showed you in the video, all right, when it comes to that term being put in motion, all right, hey, things are going to be turned around. He said, uh, <laughs> what did he say? He said, um, you're done, Okay. You're done. So, you know, just want to bring that out. Okay, this devil's about to, you know, bring it, man. I'm going to grab one more scripture and I'm going to close it out. What well, when he edified? It says, Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe me in destruction to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. Okay, Trump only got four years to run. Okay, and that's a short time compared to a long, long, long time to rule. So he's gonna have to start putting things in motion. And as you can see, there's a lot of things being put in motion. Okay, within the three days span since the election, man. All right. So it shows you that this devil is running out of time. And he doesn't have that much time to do so. He he's gonna make things, you know happen quickly and hey that's what we need man okay that's what we need man so hey you know closing it out 
Lord, when this lesson was edifying and straight to the point. Once again, give all glory and praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushah, Bashim Chakdash. Once again, double honor to those apostles, great millstone, teach you what, and next time I say, Shalom.